welcome back to On the Workbench. Today we'll be taking a look at the impact of using some LED lights. So recently I've noticed on Amazon or, uh, or on eBay the opportunity where you can buy uh, replacement light bulbs that are LEDs to replace uh, Krypton tool light bulbs for 18 volt tools. And so I recently, I recently bought this little guy off of eBay. This was uh, cost about $12 as an LED replacement for the uh, regular light bulb. So if you saw my earlier video, you saw I now have a light meter and like I'll be, I'll be able to use the basis of my comparison here today. And so what I've got is I've got an 18 volt Porter cable uh, light. This is the, I guess the more premium of the lithium uh, series light. Porter cable has a couple different uh, lights that they uh, have for 18 volt lineup, which I know is a little bit dated. And so just the OEM light bulb, and I've had this same bulb for about two and a half years now. And if I put my uh, light meter and I set it on Now, if I set it for max uh, lux, and I put this all the way up to the actual light bulb here, I'm going to get a max lux of about 214 uh, times 100. So I'm going all the way up to that to get my max reading. Now, if I turn off my light, and then I'm going to open up the end of of my bulb here to be able to replace it as I look inside and I go to pull out the bulb. And I do the proper uh, unlocks to get to it. And I remove the standard 18 volt bulb. This is an 0.3 amp bulb for comparison. It's a Krypton bulb made in Japan. I set that aside, and the new bulb here has no explicit markings on it. Let me go ahead and put that in. And put the cover back on. There we go. Now we've got that reset. So now let's go ahead and turn on the bulb. First thing I notice is definitely a whiter light. And the other one was much more uh, yellow. And now I've got my meter reset here from 19. I'm going to put this all the way up. Actually, let me make sure I'm in the same units. There we go. And we've got a reset here uh, for our Lux. And let me put this all the way up to the front of the light. And this is reading 200 and... Uh, actually, let me put that on the max setting here. There we go, max. Let me max that out and put that all the way up to the front. Uh, for some reason, I it lost the max. There we go. Let's see. There we go, up to the front of the lens. And that max reading about 202 times 100. Let's do that again, see if I can get it to jump at all a little bit. Just to make sure there's no bias here. And I'm still sitting at about 202. So you can see that this is uh, just slightly lower uh, on the Lux scale. Um, it's definitely slightly more on the blue on the color scale. Uh, so I just thought to give you a quick comparison here of looking at switching LED bulb or Krypton bulbs to LED bulbs. Now for a quick test of the LED bulbs. I've got the LED bulb installed in this light here. I also have another one of the Porter Cable 18 volt lights. It uses an identical bulb uh, and an identical housing if we look face to face. At the housings, these are identical housings. It's just the configuration is different between these two lights. Or this light has the adjustable uh, or pivoting head, and this light has more of the traditional grill style grip and a non pivoting head. And so the LED bulb is in this light, the regular factory uh, Krypton bulb is in this light. And we're going to do a little practical head to head comparison here. Okay, with the lights out in my garage. I'm going to first, I've got a snow blower here, and I'm going to take the LED bulb light here, and I'm going to shine it at my snow blower. And you can see this is about eight feet away. Here's the light that's being shined from the LED bulb. I can adjust, in this case here, the beam width and size. And now if I turn that off and use the Krypton bulb, the Krypton bulb 
looks like this. And I'm able to illuminate a slightly larger area, uh, but it's definitely a more yellowed light. So let's look at something a little more small and close. If I look at, I'm just on my table saw right now here. So if I illuminate the blade here, my table saw with the Krypton bulb light, uh, this is a non-adjustable beam. Um, so, you, so you can see how that looks there. Don't worry, the table saw is unplugged. Here's my power cord right there to be able to prove that. Put that off. Now let's come back and look at this with the Krypton bulb. I'm sorry, the LED bulb. You can definitely see it's got a more blue light uh, for a similar size. It's slightly weaker. Um, in this case here, I can get uh, the light there. I think uh, on camera, from what I can tell, I think the LED light definitely looks better. Uh, and in person, uh, I think the LED light is almost a dead even match for the Krypton bulb. You know, the yellow versus blue light is a very little difference for me. Um, but, that, but that's just my opinion. Your opinion may vary. So here's just your quick look at that head-to-head -head comparison. The, big, the biggest impact here should be uh, the longevity of the LED bulbs should outlast the Krypton bulbs. And as well as if I drop my light, I shouldn't have to worry about a filament breaking. It's typical Krypton bulbs. These filaments can break very easily if your tool gets dropped. And so I hope that this will extend the life of my tool. And I hope you found this useful and have a great day. Bye.